what's wrong with falling in love? What's wrong with meeting Prince Charming? Like, if you don't meet Prince, I'm like going to get all teary eyed on you. But if you don't meet the right guy, what is all this about? And the same for the guy. You don't meet the right girl. Like, what, what is this life about? If it's not about sharing it with another person and hopefully more people, right? That's the whole point. You have a family. It, that means more than anything. But, you know, if you don't fall in love, if you don't value love, because I guess everything else is way more important. If you don't value love, then you don't, you don't have love. You don't have love. You don't have a family. You don't have kids. And you're alone in this world. And that, ladies and gentlemen, seems to be what they prize. Those on the left that are trying to push a, a woke agenda that's not family-based, that doesn't value women for all their contributions, that thinks that you need to be alone in this world. Don't forget, Black Lives Matter. It said it right there on their website. Part of their mandate was the destruction of the nuclear family. Because you see, the nuclear family is an awfully threatening thing. The nuclear family can stand up to government. The nuclear family doesn't have to have their hand out waiting for Uncle Sam to give them a pittance to live off of. The nuclear family can help each other and other nuclear families in the spirit of community and family. You think about, you know, families that come here, first generations, and how I, you know, I was watching my big fat Greek wedding the other night. Again, I love that movie. And I, I, I love the spirit of it and how the family is, is helping everyone, right? And everybody's got a business and everybody's looking out for one another and they're all in each other's business. But that's a good thing. Because the nuclear family is, is the importance, is the center of everything. But if we're going to remake the entire narrative there, I guess the idea is we have to destroy that nuclear family. We have to teach women love doesn't matter, not, not important. Your, your career, your this, your that, your leadership, that's what matters. Because one day you're going to be president of the United States. Why not tell women you can do whatever you want? Okay, full disclosure, I admit it, I saw Barbie. I finally went. My, my kids dragged me to see this. I was putting it off because, you know, I don't have two hours to sit in a movie theater, period. I don't even like movie theaters. I don't like the smell of popcorn and like being in a dark place with all these people around me. I was like, we'll wait till it comes out on video. And so I, I was really anticipating the worst. And there, there are some cringe moments, but there's this one scene. I don't know how they let it slip by, but at the end, one of the women says, you know what, why don't we have ordinary Barbie? Like, why does a woman have to be anything? Why can't she just be what she is? Why do we have to have all these stereotypes? You know, if she wants to be beautiful and wear beautiful clothing, go for it. If she wants to not be beautiful, go for it. If she wants to be a CEO or a president or not, like, and, and what Rachel Zegler and this whole Snow White movement thing is trying to do is to stamp out the value that all of us as individuals, as individuals, remember that, bring. The original cartoon came out in 1937, yeah. and very evidently so. <laughs> um, there is a big focus on her love story. Um, with a guy who literally stalks her. <laughs> yeah. Weird. Super weird. Super weird. So we didn't do that this time. <laughs> so, no, so no prince or a different kind of prince? We have a different approach to what I'm sure a lot of people will assume is a love story just because like we cast a guy in the movie, right. Andrew Burnap, great dude. Yeah. Um, it's, uh, it's one of those things that I think everyone's going to have their assumptions about what it's actually going to be, but uh, it's really not about the love story at all, which is really, really wonderful. And whether or not she finds love along the way is anybody's guess until 2024 um all of andrew's scenes could get cut who knows it's hollywood baby i am i'm about as pro-woman as you're gonna find i mean that i really mean that and i'm pro-woman in that i believe a woman should be able to do whatever she wants and that includes doing nothing that includes staying home with the kids that includes being president that includes having your own company you do you and i'll do me and you know what i'm tired of the Rachel, whatever, 18 year olds, maybe she's 22 now, trying to put some kind of lens over what women should be.